Game one time Waters. Waters, Waters here, here, here. our first server. Over to Elise Jones in the black on the right. Side out. Zero, zero, one. Nice shot from Catherine Parento. There's a good look at Elise Jones. Strong volleyball background, Division zero, One zero, college volleyball for her. Has three children and still at the peak of her game in pickleball. I love featuring the amazing moms we have here on the PPA. Side out. Yeah, and Elise Jones, uh, kind of the defensive specialist. You're going to see her, hopefully, maybe we'll see her tuck and roll once and dive zero, for zero, a ball. One. Who knows? But. Uh, never, never a dull moment with Elise Jones on the court and great defensive stops as well. Second serve. Zero, zero, two. Side out. And Catherine Parento getting exactly what she wanted on that ball, just ended up hitting a little bit more down versus forward, as you can kind of see, doing a little one. swinging self-coaching. Point. Well, they call her Mighty Mouse, Elise Jones, the defensive specialist in women's volleyball in college and also in pickleball. One zero one. Second and serve. As I was just about to say, the one thing you can count on is Annalie Waters or Catherine Parento having to hit extra balls, you know, from the defense. That one's not coming back one, zero, from two. Annalie Waters. Side out. Okay. Zero, one, one. Point. And going for it, there's Elise Jones down the line. Captain Parento on the previous point, actually getting one, her on one, the one. left side or the right side hip, but at least trying to fire back. Point. So Annalie Waters and Captain Parento took a loss in Austin, a shocking one, and Annalie Waters addressed that on a podcast Two, one, this one. week, last week with the pickle pod on the pressures of winning. Point. Good finish from Catherine Parento, and she said, listen, we're not going to, we're still human, and if we have one loss, it's not the end of everything. Three, one, Everyone one. loves to freak out and jump right. on the bandwagon against them. <laughs> oh! Second serve! Parento with insane defense still gets tagged on the way out. She didn't deserve it. No, she had a Three, great, one, great dig there. Point. Lauren Stratman just trying to get involved. Four, Here's one, another two. look. <laughs> the tag. Side out. Yeah, and like you're saying, Michelle, you know, a lot of times we have gotten so one, accustomed four, to, I mean, of course we were. That was the first loss, I mean, ever, as this partnership has been together with Captain Parento and Annalie Waters. And so. We've just been spoiled Second of watching serve. them win yeah. over and over and over and act like the, the world is over if they lost once. But I think, uh, you know, we'll see what they do one, in this four, tournament. Two. There's 70 wins and one <laughs> loss together. Say they're doing okay. And it was only Point. a matter of time, right, before that streak was broken. But Annalie even said it 
people just assume it's easy to go out there and win every single week and every single match. It's it's not, especially in today's day. Sorry. Sorry Tough cord bounce. And especially at 17 years old, to produce that consistently at such a high level. Yeah, not only we're just talking about gender doubles, Four, but two, not one. only this, but also mixed doubles and mm -hmm. singles. And as she still obviously does all three. And Second serve. And as we said before, all these players coming in now and all the players that are already Four, here two, two. Uh, training full time. Point. Five, two, two. Oh, I thought I saw it out, right out. live, but sometimes yeah, I saw a sliver of blue, but it's tough to tell. Two, five, one. Yeah, They'll ahead. give it over. Absolutely. Point. You can definitely see Lauren Stratman kind of sitting back, taking a step off the line and just kind of rear back Three, five, with a two-handed backhand or forehand, ready to just go after the ball whenever she gets that opportunity. Ooh, good Second point. Third. And Lauren Stratman again, just uh, she's getting the first one, two, three, and all of a sudden, all these just keep coming back. And so, great defense by Catherine Parento. Three, five, two. Side out. Yeah, once again, the same kind of pattern. Five, three, Lauren Stratman getting one, two by the second or third ball, just overcooking it. Nice Point. crash from Waters. Timeout receiver, 6 3 1. Waters just makes it look easy. And great defense from Annalie Waters or from Lawrence Trapman and Elise Jones, but Annalie Eight, three, Waters two. just too much at the end. Point. Nine, three, two. Side out. Three, nine, one. Second serve. And Elise Jones just going for it again, trying to get into the exchange with Three, Emily nine, Waters. Interesting choice. in just pure insanity, the backhand of Annalie Waters. Yeah, and right now, Annalie Waters is absolutely feeling it. She's had a couple uh, couple great shots already to get her in rhythm, and now Nine, three, one. she's ready to go. Second serve. Catherine Parento took a loss earlier today in her mixed doubles match with Nine, Jack three, Sock. Two. Tina Pisnik and Deckel Barr, wow, did they look Excellent in that match. Side out. But when you're playing with Annalie Waters and you have another shot for gold, why not? Three, Pretty nine, good partner one. to bounce back with. It's an incredibly great partner. <laughs> oh, 
Where did she get that? He'll give it to her. Oh, absolutely. And the ability for Annalie Waters just to even get out of the way, even if it was defense a little bit, you know. Great hands, great Three, reaction nine, time. Big Point. put away from Elise Jones. Yeah, and I like the lob there. I like to, uh, just trying to mix it up. So one of the things we've been able to see in previous matches this year already is the ability for Four, teams nine, to get Annalie Waters and Catherine Parento off the line. Side out. And so I'll be interested to see if there's any going to be any kind of adjustments nine, four, going one. forward from Jones and Stratman to just figure out a way to get, keep Anna Lee from moving around Second like that. Out. Yeah, what is the key, if you have one? A little Nine, bit of four, dinking two. side to side. The lob is good to throw in from time to time. Sorry, and maybe Side in that out. quarter, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take him whatever way you can get him. Yeah, no, but the angle dinks and then uh, adding depth and bringing them in and changing your depths of the Four dinks in order to move them around a little bit so you can set up your next shot. That uh, tends to be working. We saw the Kawamoto's do it earlier this year. Point. Another let cord in favor of Stratman and Jones. Five, nine, one. Why for third. Stratman. Five nine two. Side out. And the body language just changing slightly from Jones and Stratman. Nine five one. Second serve. Nine five two. From the deep right pocket of the court, full scramble, yes. somehow finds a winner out of nothing. Timeout receivers, 10-5-2. The official ball of the PPA Tour. here absolutely incredible game point for the one seat oh, oh my from defense transitioning to offense. When the world sleeps, greatness rises. And while others dream of the next level, we chase it. Challenging every limit, turning obstacles into stepping stones. Because the next level 
isn't just handed to you. It's earned. Go next level with 6-0 Pickleball. Rogers won several titles with Annalie. Elise Jones point. will kick off the serve in game two and get the first point as well. Yeah, we'll see what kind of adjustments Elise One Jones and Lauren Stratman can make here in game two as uh, Catherine Parento and Annalie Waters look like a, they're on a mission this tournament. Point. Stratman was the defending silver medalist at the North Carolina tournament last year. Waters and Parento took home gold. Two, zero, two. Point. Good run for Stratman and Jones to start. Stratman teamed up with Yana Newell in the silver medal finish last year. Side out. Zero, three, one. <laughs> Good rip from Parento through the middle, yeah, threading the needle. It's just got to be tough. You know, Lauren Stratman hit an overhead as hard as she possibly yeah. could, and Annalise still gets it back. So you're having to play multiple balls, and then so something comes from Catherine Second that's third. a bullet as well. So definitely have to be able one to have a short-term memory <laughs> in a lot of these points and just take it one point at a time. Point. Two, three, two. Point. Three point hole closed quite quickly by Waters and Parento. Three, three, two. Side out. And Catherine Parento getting a little jammed up there. Thought it might come a little bit higher, but, you know, wasn't ready with the forehand. Put it away. Got three, jammed three, with one. the backhand. Much better start to this game, though, for Stratman and Jones. Second serve. Three, three, two. Point. Four, three, two. Good offense Point. from Lauren Stratman on the left. Yeah, the ability to execute and have the reload speed of the forehand Point, three, for the finish. Feathery inside out touch. She can do it all, Annalie Waters. Yeah, it was great deception. I think they both stayed back thinking she was gonna go ahead and rip and keep the ball back. Just three, five, one. relaxes the wrist at the end. Point. And once you think you have to deal with one, then here comes the yes, other. Yes, exactly. That's what seemed to be missing in Austin despite some wind conditions as well, but that, Four, five, that typical synergy you see between them. Second serve. Four, five, two. At least Jones able to get fired up just a little bit. This keeps on tapping Lauren Stratman at the Five, end four, there. One. Point. And a good lead there from Lauren Stratman. <laughs> 
Six, four, one. <laughs> Fans like that one too. You're right, Michelle. The fans here at Cary, North Carolina, I, it, just incredible. Not only, I mean, they've been here all day. All day long, but also just they know all the players. Not mm -hmm. just some, they know all the players. It's really impressive. Side out. Four, six, one. Point. Left it. Didn't fly long as expected. Five, six, one. Yeah. Point. Yeah, the compact precision of that receiver, six, from six, Annalee one. Waters, able to put it away, reload speed. And a great combination for the finish. Obviously, with, with Christian Oshon now gaining even six, more six, confidence, one. he skipped over that hurdle. He was able to win uh, gold a couple times now in men's doubles. And so we'll see. It's going to be a battle for sure. Point. Such good pressure from Captain Parento. Here's a little look over on Grandstand now with a match point Seven, on the six, line. One. Callan Dawson and Hayden Patrick went ahead by one in game three. Enjoy the right side of your screen for the men's doubles side of things. Point. Deep for Stratman and a miss for Dawson on the right over on Grandstand. Eight six one. Gah and Martinez Vic still alive. Augie Gah really able to fend him off on that Point. one. Nine six one. Timeout called on Grandstand. Gah and Martinez Vic, I believe, are the serving team over there. Looking to tie it up at 12. No, Meanwhile, Second Lauren serve. Stratman lighting up the line on Catherine Parento. Yeah, what a great spot there to find from Lauren Stratman on the right shoulder of Catherine Parento. Unable to Nine, defend six, it. Side out. And a little unlucky from the net cord, unable to Six, land nine, it. One. Second serve. And so Lauren Stratman trying to push Anna Lee off the line a little Six, bit. Nine, Just two. goes a little bit wide. There's a great spike from the former volleyball player. <laughs> Lise Jones, she's so fun to watch. Let's take another look at the double box over on Grandstand. Martinez, Vic, and Gunn, Seven, the nine, white, two. looking to tie it on the near side of your screen. Dawson and Patrick put in the black. Oh, okay, Will. Tie game, 12 all. Yeah! Side out. Nine, seven, one. Match point Nine, seven, for two. Gah and Martinez Vic on grandstand. Side out. Seven nine one. And they'll close it. Augie Gah and Jaume Martinez Vic on their way to the semifinals. A stunning performance after upsetting James Ignatowicz and Matt Wright. Good rally here for the ladies, but wow, what a run for the 14 seed. Gunn and Martinez-Vic, a three-game win.
over Dawson and Patrick Quinn Take on the heels. One. Taking down the two seed in the round of 16. They'll meet Staxford and Teas in the semis. Second serve. Apologize for talking through a couple of these ladies' points, <laughs> but that was so fun and so noteworthy. Eight, nine, two. Jones and Stratman to tie it at nine. Yeah, moving the ball around once again. And Lauren Stratman with some great dinking, pushing Anna Lee off the line. She found her opening down the line, went for it. Just pushed it a little wide. So we have a nine, third nine, game brewing here on center. We'll see. Good night Sorry, for no. Anna Lee Waters with an insane angle. You played with this paddle a little bit this weekend. What do you think? Yeah, I gave it a go. I just wanted to feel it out for <laughs> once. I just, I, Not the third sponsor, yeah. the fuzz. I'm just saying, you just hit with it. I just wanted to see what it did. I and it was, uh, it was pretty incredible paddle, though. I will say that. Point. <laughs> Match point. Sorry, threw you out the spot there. Match point for Waters and Parento. Well, it's a fun paddle to play with, it's to be fair. It's extremely fun. One. I, I had to give it a go. Yes, why not? It's like a like Ferrari. To you got to drive it. <laughs> Point game match. Oh, such a strong performance for Jones and Stratman. <laughs>that you know very well. Lauren and Elise, both players, you've played over and over again. What do you know you need to do strategy-wise against these two? I think we've got to play our game. I mean, they came out and they were pretty aggressive and we felt like they were being aggressive first. So I felt like we had to change the plan a little bit there and just be aggressive first. That's when we play our best. AL, you were one of our original glass wearers on the court, but now it feels like everyone is wearing eyewear. Why do you think that is? It's the new paddles, I'm telling you. <laughs> That is one reason. Also, I think, you know, everybody's getting better, so they are able to hit the ball faster, you know, new paddles or not. Um, and you're so close to each other, so. I wear them for prescription reasons, that's why I started wearing them, but then the better I got, I realized, you know, they're good for eye protection too, so. I changed them mid-match because it got darker, so I was like, I can't see with my shades anymore, I gotta put the clear ones on, and then we came out with the dub, so. It's the glasses, yeah. <laughs> uh, Catherine, when you are at home working on your game, how much of it is working on stuff you already have and how much is implementing new stuff? I would say a lot of it is reps of what you do well, but you also want to develop you know, newer shots every time. So I would say I spend probably 80% of my drilling sessions just working on things that I feel like I do well, and then the 20% is just working on new shots. But yeah, you want to make sure that if you don't just always keep on working on new shots, otherwise you kind of lose your reps on your good shots already. So just little by little, try to introduce new shots. Awesome. Congratulations, ladies. You'll play in the semifinal tomorrow.